Hi, Ryan. This is Amanda with Digital Velocity and SEO. And I just kind of wanted to make you this video to show you where you're sitting at with your online presence and where your competition is and then what it's going to take to kind of beat them out. Um, so here's your website. And the first thing I noticed um, is that the content is lacking. So content is king with Google. And that's how you get the opportunity to target specific keywords that you want to show up for. Um, so adding, you know, it's usually, they like to see about 1,500 to 2,000 words of content on your homepage. Um, and then also you can utilize photographs uh, and if you right click them and save the image as, instead of having like financing 001, you could save this as a keyword like, you know, used car dealerships Olympia, Washington, or what have you. Um, and so doing that with all of the photos that you have kind of gives you an, an extra opportunity to sneak some some keywords in there. Um, with your Google business profile, so I'm sure you probably know what this is, but I'm just going to explain everything as if you didn't, so um, bear with me here. But your Google business listing, which is, it, it is what you pop up for here. So um, currently you're in 17th position for... Um, car dealership Olympia right here um, and then <clears throat> so this is your actual Google business profile so having this optimized um, actually let me back up for a second so there's two places right there's the top half of the page is the Google business listing when you um, are searching for something let me go back here and show you and then down below that is the organic listings and so it takes two totally different things to get into each section. So for the Google business listing section right here, um, it takes basically having an optimized Google business listing, um, what's called citations, which are your business name, address, and phone number as it's listed on Google in different directories across the web. Um, those are the things it takes to get you in here. And then to get you into the organic listings, this is where your, your website comes into play. Um, so having, you know, your website optimized, which I'll talk about here in just a little bit, but, um, so this Google business listing needs to be completely built out with your, um, all your information using this 750, um, words, excuse my dog. Um, there's a place for a 750 word description that needs to be utilized, um, with some keywords in there as well. Um, having your reviews, you know, beefed up a little bit and making sure your social profiles are linked, which it looks like your Facebook is linked. Um, but having this really optimized and having great like photos in here, and then we also geotag the photos so that they have your location in them as well, which is kind of an extra little boost for SEO. Um, so those are the things for your Google business listing. And then when I was looking at your website, so this is a tool that I use called Arefs. And it basically shows me the back end of your website, your keywords, etc. Um, so I put you up against um, the Olympia Auto Mall and Mullinax Ford. So this is what your website looks like right here. Um, your DR score is really low. So this is what, um, it's basically like your trust factor with Google. So that you are who you say you are and you do what you say you do. And that shows in, you know, your listings across the web and just the content that's on your website that it matches what you do etc um and then backlinks here are basically any link that's on another website that links back to you and that website then shares their power with you if they're a do follow link so this would be things like articles where the writer was talking about used car dealerships in olympia and there was a link and it linked back to your website so that people could click on it um, that's a backlink. So, and then referring domains are basically just the, the websites that host those backlinks. And then organic keywords. <clears throat> it looks like you're getting 118 organic traffic right now. Um, and looking at your competition, <clears throat> they have 740 backlinks from 103 referring domains, 1,200 keywords, and they're getting 5,400 traffic. And then for Molinax Ford, 7.4 thousand backlinks or 7,400 backlinks from 174 referring domains, 1,700 keywords and 6,800 traffic. So there is a gigantic opportunity for traffic. Um, but when I was looking at your keywords, 
um, you're showing up for quite a few keywords, but the problem is is that you're ranking on the second, third pages for those. Um, there's only a couple that you're on the first page for, and that's Auto Sales Olympia, which it looks like you're only getting one traffic from that. So kind of explaining this a little bit. The volume is how many people are clicking, you know, searching for that per month. The KD is keyword difficulty, so that kind of relates to like how difficult it's going to be to rank for a keyword and what the competition looks like. Um, cost per click is uh, Google Ads, so they're, you guys are running Google Ads on some of these. Um, and then the traffic is how many people you're getting to your site from that keyword, and the position is which position you are on Google in the listings. So it looks like for m and Auto Sales, you're getting 149 traffic to your website per month, and you're in the ninth position for m and Auto Sales. So for your own name, you're in the ninth position. Um, so and then you'll kind of see down here, you know, Olympia Auto Sales, you're getting two traffic. So you're getting like one traffic, two traffic, three, four traffic for these keywords right here. And then everything else that you're ranking for, you're, you're getting zero traffic for any of these. Um, so basically it would be getting you moved up in the rankings for the keywords that you're already ranking for and then finding the missing keywords and getting you in those two. We try and find the keywords with the highest amount of volume and the lowest KD so that we can get you ranking as quickly as possible because it looks like a lot of these keywords are higher, you know, KDs. So like 48, 48, 23, these are higher KDs. So it's going to take some time for you to rank for them. Um, basically, you know, if, if a keyword had a difficulty of zero to three, I'd say it would probably take about, you know, one month to three months to rank for. So a KD of four to six would take anywhere from three months to, you know, five months. So you can kind of see how, how with these KDs being so high, the, you know, the amount of time it's going to take for you to rank for them, but you can start building backlinks to them and start, you know, providing some link juice to them and get yourself moving up in the rankings so that you can kind of filter in some of that traffic. Um, cause see like, uh, <clears throat> this is the auto mall. See their ranking position for all these keywords. They're first, second, or third. Let's see, the only one they're ranking at the bottom of the first page for is is Molnax Ford. <clears throat> but you see, they're on the first page for every single one of these keywords right here. So that's going to be what's going to bring you in traffic. See, Olympia Auto Mall is bringing in eighteen hundred and seventy nine traffic per month for them. So that's kind of you know, the, the sweet spot is getting yourself in those positions because that's what's going to bring you the traffic. So, um, I did look at your citations too, which is your business name, address, and phone number listed in different directories. And, um, it looked like you had like 33 citations. What we do for our clients is build out 200 of them, um, hand placed citations so that, you know, you far surpassed your competition and so that it takes them some time to catch up to you. Um, but those are kind of a, a few of the quick ways that I could show you to, you know, start moving up in the rankings and stuff. But um, if you wanted to set an appointment with me to uh, sit down and discuss your business more in depth and kind of talk about, you know, your goals and, and what you're looking to do and, and how I can help you, um, you can go ahead and just respond to my email and we can figure out a time that works for us both and get that done. So thanks, and I really appreciate all of your help and everything. I'm really glad that we connected. Looking forward to talking to you.